Elementary Algebra, Final Assessment 2, Review, Questions 10 and 11. For Question 10, the instructions read, Solve the Problem. Question 10 says the perimeter of a rectangular garden is to be 60 feet. Find the length if the width is 8 feet. So let's start with a picture. It says it's to be a rectangular garden, so we'll draw a rectangle. Now looking at this, a rectangle has a length equal to some value and a width equal to some value. Let's see what information we can plug in from the sentence. It says the perimeter of that rectangular garden is to be 60 feet. So we know that P is going to equal 60 feet in the end, or perimeter. It says find the length if the width is 8 feet. So we know the width is equal to 8 feet. The length is the unknown. It tells us also to use the formula perimeter, or P, equals 2 times L, which is length, plus 2 times the width, which is W. So P equals 2 times L plus 2W. Let's plug the information we know into the problem. We know that the perimeter is 60 feet. For the moment, I'm going to ignore the units feet and just plug in the constants to avoid cluttering the problem equals 2 times a length. We don't know the length, so we'll leave it as L, plus 2 times the width, which we know to be 8 feet, so we'll put in the constant 8. Now we just have a problem with one unknown, L, so we're going to solve. Let's start by simplifying. We have 60 equals 2L plus 2 times 8 to create 16. Next, we'll use the addition principle to move the 16 to the other side of the problem. So we're going to subtract 16 off both sides. This leaves us with a 44 equals 2L and if we look at the plus 16 minus 16, that goes down to 0. You can put the 0 in to hold the place or leave it off. Next, I want to use the multiplication principle to get the 2 out. The 2 is multiplying to the L, so I'll divide by a 2. Whatever I do to one side an equal sign, I have to do to the other. So I come down and I end up with 22 equals L. This isn't my final answer. My length, or L, has a set of units. When we look back at the problem, we see that the units were in feet. So, in my answer, I need to make sure for the length that I include 22 feet. Don't forget those units, feet. In question number 11, the instructions read, solve the equation for the indicated variable. Our formula is b equals one-third b times h. The indicated variable is the h. We're going to solve for h. So let's start this by copying the formula down below so we have something to work off of. Now, first thing, I'm going to do this in two steps so that it's a little bit easier to deal with. First thing I'm going to do is get this B away from the H. The B is multiplying to the H, so to move it away, I'm going to divide the B. Whatever I do to one side of the equal sign, however, I do to the other. So I see that the B clears off the right side of the page, and I'm left with V, B equals one-third H. Now, 
I want to clear the one-third. That one-third is a fraction multiplying to the h. Because it's a fraction, to clear it, I'm going to multiply by its inverse. So I'm going to multiply both sides by a 3 over 1. So a 3 over 1. This clears the 3, clears the 1. So now I'm just left with the h on the right side. If I look over here, on the left side I have a 3 times a v to make a 3v, a 1 times a v to make a b. So my answer is 3v over b equals h. Or I can flip their positions and say h equals 3v over b. They mean the same thing.